Right, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Director, on another matter, you know that this legislature has been concerned for a number of years <clears throat> because of the feedback we got from the public about cancellation of weekend visitations. Also, we've been concerned about overtime. The two go together. Recently, the administration has uh, told us that they've made tremendous progress on uh, reducing cancellations and also on reducing the overtime. Can you specifically tell us how and what you've done? Well, um, facts speak louder than anything else. So what I, what I will say um, and that what we can document is that uh, in the past calendar year, mm -hmm. uh, we reduced correctional facility and correctional related overtime uh, comparative to the previous calendar year by 16% or approximately $1.5 million. Uh, in addition, uh, visitation, scheduled visitation for inmates during this past calendar year uh, suffered but a single staff related visitation cancellation on a single Saturday at the Kulani Correctional Facility back in January of 2015. Uh, the staff have worked diligently towards assuring that this essential visitation program run on a regular basis and uh, more importantly um, staff attendance and you know the professionalism that pre preceded that has led to much better attendance amongst our correctional officer staff uh, <coughs> leading to I believe the reduction in overtime over the past calendar year. In addition uh, to trying to accomplish both of those has there been a problem with unfulfilled uh, guard positions that uh, had to go towards the visitation? Uh, can you repeat that? Well, in, in order to, you know, minimize the cancellations on visitation, was there a transfer of guard positions to help in, in that process? And did, uh, because of that, did some of the guard positions go unfulfilled? No. That was not a problem at all? It, we did not reassign any staff to perform this uh, essential program. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you.